In the sparkly kingdom of Arendelle, Anna and Elsa had an enchanting song their mom sang at bedtime. Elsa, do you remember that song mom used to sing? Of course, Anna. It was about a mysterious river that knew all the secrets. It made Anna and Elsa's imaginations go wild with wonder. As Anna and Elsa grew up in their magical home, Elsa's ice powers became super strong. One night, Elsa heard a distant voice like a faraway song. Curious, she followed it north, and with a magical gesture, made a bright ice explosion in the sky. Anna, seeing the glow, wondered, What did Elsa do? The trolls gathered around Elsa. Your ice magic has awakened the forest spirits. Oh no, are they okay? They're not happy, and there are people there called the North Uldra. Elsa felt she needed to go to the forest. She went with Anna, Kristoff, Olaf, and Sven. In the forest, they met a windy spirit and the North Uldra people, who were a lot like them. While Elsa and her friends were with the North Uldra, the fire spirit made a big fire. Elsa stopped it with snowflakes and found out it was a little salamander. Elsa, Anna, and Olaf heard a strange voice and went to find it, while Kristoff and Sven stayed with the North Uldra. Anna stumbled upon a familiar-looking shipwreck, her eyes widening. Elsa, isn't this our parents' ship? Anna, look at this map. It's about my magic. Both sisters realized the depth of their discovery, linking the past to the present. Elsa made an ice boat to keep Anna and Olaf safe. They rode past big, sleeping rock giants and tried to be very quiet. Elsa met a water horse in the big sea and they became friends. Anna and Olaf found an ice statue in a cave that Elsa knew. When Elsa got to the north, she learned the voice she heard was her own inside voice. Together, Elsa and Anna made everything happy and peaceful.